Hey, welcome back to the shop. Now I'm cutting down some parts for a project today and I've run into a bit of a problem. You see, even though I picked up pre-surfaced lumber, which should already be flattened and square, I've noticed that these boards have some cupping and some warping to them. Now normally that's not such a big issue. I just take them over to my joiner, flatten one face, and then run through the planer to get them flat and true again. However, that's where the problem is. These boards are eight inches wide and I only have a six inch joiner. So you actually have a few options on how to handle this and I'm gonna show you some of those today. Now the first option would be to take a hand plane and to flatten these boards down by hand. Now I like working with hand tools but I certainly don't wanna flatten all of these boards by hand. So I'm gonna find another option. So a second option for this is to actually rip the boards in half so that you have two smaller boards that will fit through your joiner. And once you've jointed and planed them, then you glue the boards back together so that you have one wide panel. However, for this project, I don't want to have a visible glue line, so I don't want to rip these boards down and then glue them back together. I want to maintain the single wide panel. So that option is not going to work for me. So the two options that I'm going to show you today, we will be using my six inch joiner, but we won't have to cut these boards down and glue them back together later. So as you can see, I can get this eight inch board through here without the guard getting in the way on my joiner. Now, if this board were any wider, I would have to remove the guard to be able to do this. So if you have to remove your guard, just make sure you do it for this one operation only and then put the guard right back in place once you're done and be extremely careful of while the guard is removed. So after running our board through the joiner, this side of our board is now perfectly flat and we're left with this ridge on one side where the blade couldn't reach. So if we were to remove this ridge, then this entire face would be perfectly flat and we could flip the board over and run it through our planer. So the easiest way to, to remove this is actually with a hand plane using this flat surface as a reference to get the rest of this down flat. And you can kind of feel with your fingers, once that ridge is completely gone and this surface is smooth, now we can flip this over and run this side down through our planer to flatten the rest of the board. Okay, so what if you don't have a hand plane to remove this ridge? Well, there's another option for you. See, we just need to register this flat surface on the bed of our planer and keep this suspended so that it's not hitting the bed of the planer. Then we could run this through and flatten this other side. So to, to do that, you either need a piece of plywood or MDF, put it on the flat surface, pushed up against our ridge, and we flip this over, and now we use this as a planer sled to go through our planer. However, we need to make sure that we secure this so that the board doesn't slide around and get shot out of the planer. So to do that, I'm gonna use some blue tape and some CA glue and make ourselves some double stick tape. Give this a few seconds to set up. And now we have a sled that we can run this through the planer to flatten this surface. Now that we've got this side flat, we just need to pop this off our sled so we can run the other side through the planer. And with the blue tape, it just comes right off. You can peel the tape off. And there's no residue. There's no wood stuck to the piece. It's a really neat trick if you need to stick two things together and you don't want any glue or wood fibers getting stuck to each other. So let's go run this through the planer and clean up this board. So the next time you have a board that you need to flatten that's wider than your joiner, you have several options available depending on what tools you have in your shop. I hope you learned something from this video today. Please let me know down in the comments below and then go check out some of these other videos right over here. Thank you.